Welcome to PoolMaz.com, the technology blog for pool owners. The swimming pool is the focal point of a backyard, so it's important to swim in a pool free of contaminants and pathogens. If you swim in water that is contaminated, you're susceptible to swimming pool rash or swimmer's itch. If chemical disinfectants break down, your water is exposed to pseudominous bacteria. After exposure, a rash will occur on swimmers 12 to 48 hours after swimming in contaminated water. Swimming pool rash, or swimmer's itch, most commonly appears in the form of small red bumps on the arms, legs, or trunk of the body. It looks similar to chicken pox and may develop blisters. Fortunately, swimmer's itch usually disappears on its own, but if the bumps become infected, see a doctor. During a swimmer's itch outbreak, it's advised to use oatmeal or menthol cream to help ease symptoms. You can also add baking soda to your bath water. To prevent the swimmer's itch bacteria from forming in your pool, maintain the appropriate disinfectant levels in the water. Chlorine is commonly used to kill pathogens. If you suspect your pool has been exposed to swimmer's itch, your water will look cloudy or dull in appearance. To treat cloudy water that may contain swimmer's itch, shock the pool. Retest the water after the shock has had time to settle to ensure it's safe for swimmers. There are pathogens that have developed a resistance to chlorine. To combat this problem, look into sanitizing your water with an ultraviolet disinfection system. Ultraviolet systems use powerful germicidal rays to destroy more than 99.5% of contaminants and more than 60 waterborne diseases. This includes recreational water illnesses that are resistant to chlorine so you can rest assured knowing your water is protected against even the most resistant contaminants. Visit SpectralightUV.com for more information. Visit PoolMaz.com for the top five products for a low chemical and energy efficient pool.